the school bus stopped. A little girl got down from the bus and rushed past the houses on the street, straight into the gate and climbed the stairs two steps at a time. Who was this little girl and why was she in such a hurry? Her amma was waiting for her with a glass of milk and a few biscuits. She gobbled them up quickly and she ran into the balcony of her home, opened her school bag, took out her notebooks and her favorite wooden ruler and started speaking. Hello class, are you all ready for the lesson? And if you're all good, I'll also share a story. There was silence. It was an imaginary classroom, but this girl had started sharing volumes of stories. That's me. Six-year-old me in the balcony of my home back in Kolkata, aspiring to be a teacher. Today, I am an actor, storyteller, voice and theatre artist, facilitator, ideator. I've also had a successful corporate career and I'm also a teacher and a trainer. Does that mean I have failed that six-year-old me who was aspiring to be only a teacher? I think not because the most important story of my life is the story I tell myself every day about who I am and how I embraced all the possibilities that came my way. So how did I embrace all these possibilities that came my way? It all started by saying yes every single time with my heart. Let me do a rewind here. When I was in school, one day I came back, I must have been seven or eight then, and I showed a circular about elocution competition to my appa. My appa read it and he said, you are going to participate in it, right? And I hesitantly said, but what if I don't win a prize, appa? To which he smiled and he said, it's not always about winning prizes. It's always about participation. She never let go of an opportunity and you will gain so much of experience and so much of learning. I didn't understand at that time what opportunity, experience, learning meant. But from then on, I started participating in every single competition, be it music, dance, art, debate. Today, I realize by not shying away from all these opportunities have given me such a beautiful experience. Right from standing in front of the assembly in school narrating a poem to the college song, the prayer song almost every other day to even acting in annual day plays in our community uh, hall on our community stage in the apartment where I grew up in Delhi to becoming the actor, storyteller and of course doing what I love doing most now, sharing stories. Tell me something, if you were faced with a situation where you were presented with an opportunity to do something, but you were not very confident about it, what would you do? Would you feel that you were not skilled enough to participate in it? The next time you face such a situation, Take it from me, it's worth taking the plunge. Because the moment you say yes to an opportunity, you will move out of your comfort zone. And that's how it's supposed to be. And that's why you need to give it a shot. <laughs> this is where all the hard work began for me. As I got out of my comfort zone, my natural habitat, I slowly started getting a grip on what I was doing. Doing this enabled, you know, boosting my self-confidence. It opened new doors. It always does, isn't it? In fact, one opportunity leads to another and people start taking notice of you. But if it is a brand new opportunity and you're doing it for the first time, won't you be nervous? Of course you will be and that's what will push you to do much better. Let me share this experience of how I faced it personally. It was on the sets of my second Tamil film, Jeans, directed by Shankar Sir. 
I had this scene with veterans like S. V. Shekhar sir and Lakshmi Amma, and I was given a long dialogue to memorize. I told myself, "What are you even doing? What are you doing? Will you be able to memorize such a big dialogue? And what if you forget it?" A few minutes before the director said, "Action!" I gave myself a pep talk, and I said, "Janaki." they are all veterans it is true but you need to go and have lots of fun because you're passionate about doing this and that's exactly what i did i went ahead and had loads of fun and even to this day when people meet me they talk about how much they loved my role as the innocent amma in this film so every time i face a very nervous moment I tell myself how passionate I am about the activity I am about to do and also remind myself to have loads of fun like cinema I also discovered my passion of storytelling my natural zone of expression it is immensely gratifying when children come and hug me after every single story performance of mine I in fact started sharing stories with children of the family then children of my friends and today it has become a major part of my identity I also discovered my love for giving voice overs changing my voice for cartoons like chip and dale gummy bears giving voice for commercials and also corporate films leaping on to the next stage I also authored books for children in the last 3 years and i have been meeting diverse set of people students teachers professionals as part of my training workshops and other sessions in fact in the last year and a half i have also forayed into writing and performing stories and monologues for adults and the response has been heartwarming the one constant that has remained in all these experiments that i have journeyed through is that whatever i do i do it with my heart so is it really hard to find your passion or does the passion find you i would say that the passion finds you imagine this that you are in a event or a competition where you have your you know talent or your skill set be it music maths science dance art there will be a particular moment when you will feel the nudge when you will feel like going and enrolling yourself and participating now that's the sign that you need to watch out for as you create collaborate experiment you will find new avenues to put out your authentic self and you will also find surprises in your story there will be days when you will feel that you're not as skilled as you thought you were you will find yourself in comparison traps and you will start suddenly facing imperfections i have been there and i have been challenged but it is the passion with what you do which will make you push yourself further and further in fact it is these imperfections of the present that will push you to perform even better but let me tell you from experience that you don't have to face all of this alone i acknowledged all the people who stood by me as rock solid support and i drew a lot of strength from them my appa and amma my parents were an unbeatable duo who supported me in all the endeavors of mine i have already spoken about my appa who taught me to look at the experience rather than the outcome my mother on the other hand was gentle she was a good listener and she guided me with a lot of empathy she kept telling me that anything is doable and she kept telling me to keep moving in the same direction post my marriage i went off to mumbai the city of dreams and one day my mother in law told me that she wanted to take me for a voice over audition i was excited but she also told me to wear a sari 
and I was like, why a sari for a voiceover audition? She insisted and I obliged. Imagine my shock as I walk into this hall and it is filled with people, assistant directors, cameramen, uh, light men and a lot of models. It is then that my mother-in-law told me that it was an audition to act in a commercial. I froze on the spot and I told her, I've never done this before. And she told me, I know that you do so many diverse things. This is going to be a cakewalk for you. She pushed me and I gave the audition. There I was in front of the directors and all the other people. And guess what? I got the part. My first ever ad for a national brand of detergent. This really opened up a new sense of freedom in my experience. I had never done something like this before. My 92-year-old mother-in-law still happens to be my biggest cheerleader. She attends all my performances, gives me constructive feedbacks, sits through my rehearsals and what not. I draw a lot from her positive energy. It is this constant encouragement and support that has made me create works of art like stories, monologues, songs, poems that I proudly take ownership of today. In fact, it is all this that has pushed me to give more and more. But in a fast moving pace like this in our world today, Sometimes, have we failed to take notice of the tiny yet heartfelt compliments that come our way for our talent or for just being ourselves? Who do you think has stood by you always in small and big ways? It could be a pat by your sister on the shoulder or a friend's hi-fi on WhatsApp or your husband's gentle smile or a warm hug from your daughter. They hold so much value and so much meaning, don't they? When you believe in the people who believe in you, it leads you to a path of being your unapologetic self. In fact, it pushes you to accomplish and go on and achieve things beyond your belief. Today, Take a moment for yourself and make a list of all those who have supported you in their small and big ways. Perhaps you could in your own unique way, let them know how much their support matters to you. On that note, thank you all for listening to me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share the most important story of my life and the three things that shaped it. Never say no to an opportunity. Do whatever you want to do with a lot of passion and have fun doing it. And the third, believe in the people who believe in you. Today, as I speak, I wait. I wait for new delightful experiences in my story of self-discovery. And I leave you with my strongest belief that your life truly begins with the story you tell yourself. Thank you.